Hello everyone, I'm Christopher from Arduino and today I'm going to show you how to use an Opta Micro PLC and a USB memory stick for data logging. Data logging is an essential process in industrial environments where it's critical to continuously monitor and record vital parameters like pressure, temperature, or any other variable of interest. These parameters are often captured through sensors connected to the input ports of PLCs like the Opta. In today's video, we are going to use an Opta Micro PLC. Any variant will work, but in this case, I'm using the Wi-Fi version. To power the Opta, we'll need a 24 volt power supply and a USB cable to program it. In order to test this feature in a realistic use case, we are going to gather data from a PT100 RTD using a 0 to 10 volts converter with a measuring range of 0 to 100 degrees Celsius. For data storage, we will use a USB drive. As you can see, this one is a USB-A drive, while the Opta features a USB-C port. To bridge this difference, I'm using a USB-A to USB-C adapter. Of course, you can also use a USB-C memory stick directly. On the software side, we need the Arduino ID, which can be downloaded for free from the official Arduino website. Inside the IDE, we install the Opta support package by searching for Opta in the IDE Boards Manager. Make sure to have the latest version. Next, we need some libraries that will allow us to manage the USB drive connection. On the IDE Library Manager, search for Arduino Unified Storage. Click on Install and you will notice that a pop-up window will show up with some dependency requirements. Click on Install All and wait for them to be installed. To wire everything together, first make the RTD connection to the adapter module. Notice that we are using a 3-wire RTD as a 2-wire one. Make the adapter power connections with the Opta respective terminal blocks, and connect the adapter output to the Opta input I1. Finally, connect the 24-volt power supply to the positive and negative terminals of the Opta terminal block. Now, before powering everything up, let's program the Opta. You can find the Arduino sketch in the video description. We are going to analyze some of the main functions of this code. First, as usual, we include the library and define the sketch constants and variables. Also, we define the instance for the USB storage service. Then, we find the connection and disconnection callback functions that set the USB available flag. We use a couple of functions with some LED effects to indicate the solution status, and a function to check for the Opta user button press. Jumping to the USB related functions, we have the write to USB one. Here we check if a USB drive is connected. If so, it creates a folder called backup data and it starts calling the perform update function. This function creates a .txt file inside the folder and every second reads the Opta analog input, turns the voltage value into temperature, formats a string with the data, and appends it to the .txt file. Finally, in the setup function, we initialize the debugging communication, the analog resolution, and the USB storage service. In the loop function, we continuously check for USB drive connections and wait for the user button to be pressed for three seconds to start or stop the data login. It's worth to mention that as you may be wondering, the Opta USB-C is used for memory stick communication, so you won't have access to the usual serial monitor debugging messages. For this, the sketch uses the RS4A5 interface and using a USB adapter as the one shown here, you can monitor the Opta status through your favorite serial terminal. To program your Opta with a different sketch, just double tap the reset button to put it in DFU mode. And the USB-C port will work again for flashing the board. To upload the code, we compile it to verify that everything is okay. And then click the upload button. We can now connect the power supply and our USB drive to the Opta Type-C port. Once the drive is connected, the Opta LEDs will start blinking with an iRider animation. To start the data login, we press the user button for three seconds and the LED one should start blinking, indicating that the writing process is running. Meanwhile, we can apply some heat to the sensor using our heat gun, or maybe check if our drink is cold enough. 
Once we are done with our readings, press the user button for another 3 seconds and all LEDs will blink, indicating data is stored and the login is over. We unplug the USB memory from the Opta and connect it to our PC. Here we find a folder with a TXT file with our temperature readings. And that it is! We have successfully stored data on a USB drive using Opta. You can use these measurements to create a graph, for example, or any other data analysis related. In this tutorial, we learn how to interface an Opta Micro PLC with a USB memory stick, read analog input data, process it, and store it on the USB drive. With these skills, you can explore more complex solutions, adding more sensors, and embedding advanced analysis tools to your project. If you are interested in industrial protocols and our product's capabilities, I invite you to follow the guides I left in the description and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more and have a great day!